to a GT86. Uh, you might recognize this car and you might recognize this guy. This is Lewis Warren. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, owner of Tacona uh, and also this beautiful Hello. car. Well, thanks for joining us. A pleasure. Uh, tell us very briefly about Tacona and then we'll talk about your car. Sure. So uh, Tacona is essentially a clothing brand. We do automotive clothing to raise mental health awareness. There we go. Nice and short. There we are. <laughs> and Toyota GT86, why this car specifically? I've had this car for seven years now and mm -hmm. I've put 120,000 miles on it and what happened was I had an Audi A6 Avant which I broke yep. and I part exed it for this because I didn't think I could afford one of these and it turned out I could so I bought one Good and news. that's about as complex as it got. There you go. I, uh, I went and test drove it, fell in love immediately and then signed a five-year finance deal. <laughs> it's, it's sporty, it's dynamic, it's got rear seats, they fold down so it's got a reasonably big boot, yep. uh, it'll do 35 to the gallon on the motorway and it's only a two litre and it's all yep. Toyota -y bits, so kind of maintaining it isn't that expensive, yep. um, which kind of ticked all the boxes I needed. Yeah, and it's more, it's more of a driver's car and going around corners rather than trying to go as fast as humanly possible, Absolutely. isn't it? Like, I will get outrun by a medium spec Golf in a straight line, yep. but the first sign of a corner, this outruns a surprising amount of cars. Yeah. So basically you have more fun. I have a lot more fun. <laughs> and the meme of Jeremy Clarkson doing his big grinny thumbs up faces in one of these because of how fun they are there you go um, so it is a dynamic car it's a fun car it's surprisingly quick in the right places yeah um, it's about 200 it's, brake right yeah i think it's 197 yeah. to be specific close enough 151 pound feet of torque nice um so it's by today's standards especially not powerful yeah um but it only weighs 1200 kilos there you go so you get a good balance and you've breathed on it generally, right? I have. The only thing I haven't touched properly is the engine. That's a Subaru bit, and I don't want to jinx it and potentially make it worse because at 45,000 miles, the bottom end went. Right. So it had a bottom <laughs> end, I think they call it a small block replacement, um, because they used to suffer quite badly from oil starvation. So because it's a flat four and it's not got a baffled sump, if you do drive it spiritedly for a long enough period of time, it starves itself of oil and then you get rod knock and all sorts of fun right. so rather than risking something like that happen again i've left that bit alone yep. and then done other things so it's on teen tyne flex a coilovers yep. uh, these are not real wheels they're rep wheels so people on the internet will shout at me um, but they're staggered so they're 225s at the front and 255s at the back nice. on michelin pilot sport fives at yep. the minute uh, it's got a tuning developments cat back kit so Several people have said it actually sounds nice, which is quite a compliment because a lot of these sound a bit raggedy mm -hmm. is a, a word that's been used, but they've not got the Subaru rumble because they don't have unequal length headers. They're, right. they're equal length. Um, and then kind of just styling-y bits, so the rear lights uh, and obviously EBC's big brake kit, which yep. is a performance bit, not a styling yep. bit. Other than those performance bits and a bit of styling and obviously a livery. The livery, yep. Um, <laughs> that's it, really. It's not not overly done it's yeah. as you say breathed on it's such good fun that it doesn't need much to make it enjoyable tell me a bit more about Tacona itself the idea for this kind of started I was living on the south coast I didn't know anyone and the more I kind of got involved with the car community the more I started making friends I was working in some salesy job and I found that if I got the conversation into cars yeah. it would just open the door to the conversation. Previously, I worked in um, psychiatric healthcare and my skills learned there would get people talking and you can yeah. kind of help. It's okay to talk. Exactly. <laughs> um, so kind of bringing those kind of things together, it was, well, my car has always been a way for me to connect with people. Why don't we use that as a way for other people to connect and use those connections to help people with their mental health? Exactly. Um, how, how long ago was that you started it? Five years ago, yeah. uh, like five years ago today-ish. It's around this time of year. Yeah. Um, so I had a an Austin Mini as my first car. Nice. It's bright orange on deep dish mini lights and bucket seats and all that sort of stuff. And the amount of people that would stop and chat to you. Yeah. <laughs> it was this kind of core part of the automotive world for me was the conversations and the yeah. people and the Absolutely. connections. So the the whole Tacona idea is to kind of use that to do more and get people chatting and build these communities and get these friendships started and through it all have this underlying tone of it's okay to talk about mental health yeah. it's okay to you know just talk about life and what happens in life there's yeah. no need to shy away from it because inherently that is what causes more problems yeah. 
Um, so the car has always been kind of an extension of me and the brand is then an extension of what I believe in. So kind of tying these two together, having a big livery that kind of shouts at you is enough to often start conversations yeah. with people. Exactly. Um, so it's about that messaging and that idea of yeah. let's get people talking and let's use cars to do that. Brilliant idea. And it's a very important subject. Absolutely. We've all had our challenges and there are many more on the horizon for all of us. So. Yeah, and people often don't see that everyone else is going through it. They kind of suffer alone and they think, well, everyone else has got their stuff together. Yeah. Well, and I mean, it's only when you kind of break that kind of barrier and go, oh, I'm, I'm struggling with this. That people go, oh, yeah, me too. And then yeah. it so just opens that door. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what cars do for me. They, they make yeah. friendships. They bring people together. They kind of, they're like a universal leveler. You can have, I've got a, a Renault 5 that cost me 500 quid. Yeah. And I can go to a car event and there'll be like Joe Macari in a Aston Martin like yeah. Valkyrie or something. And you will connect. And we'll just chat about cars and he'll yeah. be as excited about my Renault as yeah. I am about his Aston Martin. Exactly. And that's the car world and that's what this is all about. It's beautiful. Well, I think we should go for a drive. We should go for a drive. Thanks for joining us. A pleasure. And thank you for sharing the story of your GT86 and Tacona. 
If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Starts from only two quid a month, which is not even a coffee these days. Thanks very much. See you next time.